Hi, Toaster here from Aussie 8, um, looking to lap Australia in our Tesla Model Y, and we're also bringing along a Starlink. Um, I'm actually hacking this one so that um, we can hopefully use it in motion in the car. Um, so this is one of a few videos in that process. Um, this one is to separate um, the dishy from the mount. Uh, so that it's a lot slimmer in profile. Now the technique I'm using here um, has already been shown on, on YouTube, um, so I'm not taking credit. However, um, I am, I think my method is a little bit cleaner. Um, I'm just using one screwdriver and just running it along the seam. So yeah, just validating that this is it's a really good way to um, separate the phased array from the mount system um, and I just started in one corner with this small screwdriver kind of like how I start here and then just run it along the seam occasionally wiggling the screwdriver um, if needed but yeah, you can see it's a pretty um, pretty easy method um, it's a lot less faffing around with, you know, Dremels and um, various other methods that um, have been seen. Once you've gone around all four sides, the dishy should start to come apart, as you can see here. Now obviously be careful when you separate the two sections that <coughs> you don't strain the cables that are inside. Um, so I'm just being quite um, careful here um, to start to separate the two sections. If you now have a peek inside you should see the two cables, one for the motors and the other one for the actual uh, ethernet connection. The cables should just pull out connectors pretty easy there's no uh, clips or anything they just kind of just pull out and that's pretty much it the phased array is now separated from the housing and motorized section um, there is a bit more disassembly to do but I'm not going to show that here there are other YouTube videos that show you levering off the gray um, plastic cover and getting the cable out um, but yes yeah, is a very clean disassembly of the phased array um, and I'll do some future videos I guess in terms of how I'm going to uh, wire it in the car and mount it in the car so stay tuned thanks for watching